All right, hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna scoot y'all over some there. Welcome back. Uh, so, trying to get this out the door. The reason there hasn't been any videos uploaded uh, lately is because there has been two major projects, the boat being one. Uh, y'all will see that later. I'm putting all the videos together to make it one video. So, but it's a transom rebuild. If y'all are waiting on that, it's probably gonna be another two weeks before I get that uploaded. Uh, just because of weather, coldness, and all that, I can't do the epoxy on the boat. Then there's another project inside the house that I will uh, upload a video. And then, so today we're going to show you how to uh, sharpen your edger, I mean your uh, hedge trimmers. Uh, all you, so all you got to do is you want to come through and you want to find the least worn one, which is usually towards the back and the front is more worn. Uh, that's because p as you extend it, you're trying, you're going out with the end here versus it going all the way up and then starting. So usually it's all the way at the back. You don't take your angle. My angle's there. It would all go through. So I'm going to show you how I do that real quick. I already did this side. I already did the underside. This is the last side. Let me switch this over. I haven't done this entire side yet. Then we're all well. I did the one side on the other side, but we're all. I want to show you how fast it takes to do three. We're gonna do one, two, three. Uh, I already rotated it, so it's good to go. Flipping it in this direction is a little is dangerous doing it this way. So if you're not comfortable and you're not and you don't know your disc is good, do not do this. Um, I've done it enough wearing glasses, and I always hope that they just don't break off. You can do it this way; it's very hard. And if I do it that way for this particular reason, is I'll be throwing it right into the camera. So because I'll be, I'll have it pointing like that straight at y'all. Uh, but I won't be doing it this way regardless. So.
Now, if you were concerned about the parallel is not be, the mess is from the boat. So if you're wondering what all this stuff is, here is for the boat. Okay, so to go over this, so when you're doing these, there's only, oh, let me move down here. There, these little corners right where the tip of that screwdriver is, on either side, on both sides, so there's gonna be one here, one here, one here, one here, all the way down on all the teeth. You might get a divot, like a little cut in right there. That's from usage of the shears. Um, when they get used, they the limbs, this is mild steel, the limbs right up on that channel. So they go inwards and they ride up and it clips them right there. And so that corner gets worn out the most. You need to bring that down. If you don't, you'll have a very a poor cutting capability. It'll drastically reduce the cutting capability of your uh, pruners here. Um, and then you want to taper. So you want, you want it to be like this each each one of these little teeth need to be like this so when it goes to cut the if it's like this the limb slides in there and the machine cuts it like this and it slips out if it's too big it will get caught or it'll slip out and you can make another cut and keep on going with it that's how that works so you need so you need a slight taper on them when you get them there'll be a taper if you see that little notch there, you gotta grind that out or you don't have a real, you only need to grind to the very bottom, um, very bottom of that cut there. You don't need to grind the whole top section. There's a little cup in it uh, at the tooth, but you have your, you have it high on the outside and high on the inside, you're good to go. You don't need to sharpen anymore. Over sharpening will reduce the lifespan of your shears and it won't give you any benefit. But I have, one more of these, uh, this one so happens, I wanna say it's a steel. Yeah, this one is a steel uh, articulating um, hedge trimmers for weed eater. I'm gonna get the, he has another one identical to this. I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna be done with the video. Y'all have a good one, thanks, bye.